Welcome to Head vs. Heart, an online advice column where you guys get to be the judge and the jury. I'm going to read out a question and answer it from two perspectives, one from the head, one from the heart, then in the comments section and in the poll, you're going to vote on which you think the questioner should take. This week's question comes from Jaden. She says, Hey Shannon, me and my boo have been together for close to two years and things have been amazing between us. We moved in together after one year and so far so great. Recently though, I read the book The Weight by Devin Franklin and felt very inspired by it. Although my current relationship is good, the others, not so much. I feel like sex has always been used against me all my life and I want to break. When I told my boyfriend of my decision at first, he was very supportive, but then he said he wasn't okay with it. He asked for an open relationship and said, can he seek sex elsewhere? Once again, I feel very violated and like sex is being used to control me. Should I consider his request or leave this relationship ASAP? Consider leave this relationship request? ASAP. Really? How could you stay in that relationship? You have to be willing to evolve with your relationship. And if you can't do that, then, you know, maybe it's time for that relationship to end. You know, she, she has what she needs. He has what he needs. And now those things don't meet up. You know, you can sit and you can compromise with yourself and your own happiness all you want, but you're not going to be happy. Obviously, she's not going to be able to be able to handle him having sex with other people. So why would you stay in that? Here is the problem that you are making that a lot of people do. You decided to flip the script. You decided to change the rules of engagement because both of you guys got into a relationship of monogamy in the agreement that you were going to have sex. Now you don't want to have sex anymore. You want him to accept and respect that, which he does. And you also want him to not have sex too. Now don't get me wrong. You have every right to switch the script up. You can change your mind at any time, but you demanding the change and expecting somebody else to conform to your needs without you doing any kind of compromise. What kind of world are you living in? Well, it's talk, it's, let's talk about commitment. Like it's a commitment. You made a commitment to that person. And if you can no longer handle that commitment, then you shouldn't be in a relationship with them. That's exactly why her boyfriend did the mature thing and said, let's adjust the kind of relationship that we're in. If anything, I think that you should be more in love with someone like that who says, hey, sex is an important part of relationship for me. I still, like you said, think that we have a great connection, think that we do really, really well together. However, sex is just what helps me to feel like a normal yeah, man. But maybe, I need that no. in my life. So you instead of me disrespecting you, I want to open the relationship up, allow myself to get something that you no longer want to provide while still continuing to build on something positive. I respect your decision. Now just respect how I work best. Yeah, no, sorry. If the first option that you jump to is you having sex with other people, then maybe he wasn't in the relationship as much as he thought, or he's not in the relationship as much as she thought. Ultimately, he's letting her know that sex is more important than the integrity of our relationship. She obviously has a problem with this. I understand him, it's good he brought it up. That's a mature decision that he brought it up. But now leave his ass? But yeah, because obviously it's not okay with her. So if it's not okay, she said, this is what I want. He said, well, I, I still want to have sex with other people and be with you. She's like having a problem with that. So that to me is like, well, what's the point in staying in that if both people's needs aren't being met? If you take sex off of the table and that relationship crumbles, then what was he really in that relationship for? Yes, it is an important element. It's an important element of any relationship, but she's just taking it off the table for a short period of time and he can't wait that out. He's gotta have sex with other people. That shows his ability to stick through her, st stick with her through good times and bad. That's what you get into a relationship for. That's what you, that's how you find out what type of relationship you have. No, 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 okay, you're forgetting one thing. She said in the email that he tried it for a while, meaning he gave it a shot to do it her way and found that it didn't work for him, so he's looking for a compromise. He's not demanding that she break her vow that she's made to herself and have sex. He's saying, well, I don't work well in an absent lifestyle, so can I seek sex elsewhere? Now, you owe it to him to try just like he tried for you. You don't know how you're gonna feel in an open relationship until you give it a shot. Now, to me personally, I think open relationships work best when both people are seeking fulfillment elsewhere. And maybe for you, that might actually be a positive thing. While you're on this journey of self-discovery and healing from the past, maybe dating multiple people without sex and knowing that you can do that and that's part of your power will actually help you. 
I mean, she's not willing to compromise monogamy, which is not uncommon for, for most people. She wants to be with him and only him, and she doesn't want to share him with other people because she loves him that much. But with that being said, you also have to love yourself. You have to love yourself and you have to set your own parameters for what is okay for you. I think people get a little too caught up in the fact that I'm in a relationship and I think this is gonna last forever. Most relationships don't last forever. Because people don't compromise. Thank you for making my point. This has been an episode of Head and Heart. What do you guys think is right? No, no, no. How do you feel like that is, no. You don't get to just walk away like that. I'm sorry, I'm the there, head. I get to choose and decide when things make sense. And that to me made sense. That was a logical place to end. I'm sorry if you feel hurt no, right no, now. No, 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 no. Okay, and then it sounds like Head's got a bit of an attitude problem. Now I want to hear from you guys in the poll or in the comment section below. Is it Heart? Leave that relationship or Head? compromise and stay in it and we'll see you guys on the next episode of head and heart in the meantime check out my boy chris's channel please i need help for this though but what i can't do with this uh, no those will help you like your balance <laughs> <laughs> like a tripod hey twerk 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 oh, the get it not working this is your boom i'm here walk i'm a model so this is too easy too thank easy. you easy. Mm. Get it? Get it? Okay. Okay, cakes.